we always just say we want to be this we, we but we, we we never really can see ourselves being that person or we, we don't like it's even almost impossible like for us to feel how it will feel to be a millionaire if we do not see the millions in our account but the truth is that for you to really be that person you you have to start to see yourself as as that person if you do not start to feel like oh i'm a supermodel you're not going to be a supermodel i mean even when you become a supermodel you're not going to be acting like you're going to be acting lesser than this because you don't feel like you deserve it or that you can be that person so i feel like the first step is you have to visualize and then you have to start to see yourself as the person you dream of being amos medra Hello and a very warm welcome. I am joined by Karina Goldie, content creator. I've got lots to get through today. I cannot wait to get into this interview. Karina, a warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Tell us, Thank uh, you. tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Goldie Karina Ter. I am twenty-four years old. Um, I just turned twenty-four, July twentieth. I'm a fashion model and a content creator. I live here in Lagos, Nigeria. It's a beautiful city, although it has its ups and downs, but it's a lovely place to live. And um, I love living in Lagos because every morning when I wake up, I feel the, the drive to want to pursue my dreams, to want to be a better version of myself. So yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me. <laughs> that's wonderful that's absolutely brilliant and um you know um content creation you know it's uh you know again being creative coming up with new concepts yes how yes. long have you been doing this for is this something that you've always wanted to get into or is this just a, is it a new thing that you're doing well um i always wanted to be a fashion model ever since i was a child ever since i, I could remember like since i was like eight years old when i used to watch um e-news e-entertainment on dstv so when i would look at the celebrities on the red carpet i look at the models and then even when i used to go through magazines i always knew that i wanted to be that girl who was going to be on the cover of a magazine or who was going to be in a vogue photo shoot or working for gucci and all of that so um yeah it always it was always fashion modeling but then the world evolved and then i'm seeing that there's content creation like for instagram so like you have to create content and you're not just modeling like you're not just booking the gigs and doing the photo shoots now you're creating your own content for your own self so you're like marketing your own self and then i felt like it was a fun opportunity for someone like me who always has bright ideas and who always likes to create something and then what better way to create something other than using myself as a muse so yeah content creation started like Mm, last year, because my morning kicked off like two years ago. So yeah, content creation started last year. Yes, so. And do you like the idea of being in control of the whole process from thinking about the concept, what it is that you want to produce um, to uh, making, producing the, con the, the products itself, uh, to getting it out there, collaborating and, you know, marketing it out. Do you like every aspect of it? Is there parts of it that you're not well, so keen on? I, <laughs> well, to be honest, I actually enjoy every aspect of it. But like, I mean, it comes with so many hassles. And right now I'm learning how to um, how to share responsibilities. So, I mean, left to me, I enjoy it. But I mean, moving up moving ahead you have to learn how to share responsibility so you can go further so yes i am i'm i'm open to share responsibility now but i enjoy the whole process creating the content getting people to work together and dealing with all the creatives because creatives come in different shapes and sizes and people so you have to know how to work with people and then putting it out there getting the responses from like people on my social media i feel so excited when i see that my work is being appreciated so yes i enjoyed the whole process but i'm learning how to share responsibility and uh, that's another thing isn't it because you're very protective of your products and what you do and um, distributing that work to somebody else sometimes i can imagine is difficult 
but when you relinquish those duties yes. again trusting uh, yes. that other people are able to do the work as good as you are yes 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 so um lagos it's happening at the moment there's so much going on there you know there's so much creativity mm -hmm. um you know uh, talk to us about the scene over there and you know how how it's just uh, popping off it's happening it's where everything is at the moment Tell, talk to us about the whole uh industry the creative industry in lagos oh it's amazing here in lagos like i'd missed everything happening in nigeria where as a as a creative person when you see the opportunities when you see how much creativity and how much work creatives are actually putting into like their craft is inspiring i mean from the music videos to the um campaign to the campaign ads to the um runway shows everything is becoming better like creatives are doing like it's like a revolution of different sets of people who are just out here trying to show the world that they are amazing people so yes it's a beautiful scene to be a part of and um it's progressing so new opportunities are coming out every day but you have to be hungry for it like you have to be open to like grab hold of these things you can't just be on your bed and ex i mean you can be on your bed but like there you have to have like the right set of people around you to connect you with what's happening here but like a lot is a lot of positivity is coming out of the creative scene in lagos and i'm happy to be part of it and you know um again you've said that you know the how things are you know really taking form and you know you're in a great place uh where there's so much happening you look at netflix there's so many uh, nollywood movies there's so many yeah. uh you know reality programs coming from lagos coming from nigeria so and, and just africa the continent and it shows things are moving forward things are progressing uh that old narrative of africa is changing people starting to see it in a different light you know um yes. how is africa now you know where do you see it where do you see things going in the future um for me i mean a lot of people say that let me use nigeria as my point of my focus point um a lot of people think or believe that hope is lost and like there's no development but for me i feel that that is a fat lie because the generation that I'm in, although we have a lot of challenges, but what inspires me and what I love most about my generation is everybody wants to be something. Everybody wants to do something. Like you, you can barely find people who just want to lay on their bed and not try to achieve something. And with the way we are, with the way we are moving, like we want to progress. We want people around us to progress. And then, um, you know, we're moving away from the from the reality of um people just being in nine to fives people just working for other people and not chasing their dreams in the generation that i'm in everybody wants to chase their dreams so everybody's hungry and working after something so i believe that there's future i feel i believe that there's hope for africa and i believe there's hope in nigeria there's hope is not lost things are getting better it's just that it's a bit slow paced because of so many other things but i believe that there's hope things are getting better yeah that, that's good that's good Talk to us about your work ethic. You know, you keep, uh, you've mentioned it a couple of times. You know, what does that mean to you? Why is it important for you to work hard? You know, how do you balance it? Is it all about working hard? And is it working hard and smart? How do you, how, how do you balance everything? Okay, so um, I'm freelance. I'm, I'm not under an agency. I'm basically managing myself. Um, so work ethic is actually, it's actually like in my own case is more important because i'm like i'm like my whole brand so i it's essential for me to give my best to every single shoot that i have whether it's a collaboration or it's a paid gig whatever it is because i'm representing myself and i the, the place i see myself i cannot afford to be mediocre and expect to get to where i dream to be so i have to be on time to my shoots i have to look good i have to take care of my skin i have to work keep on working on myself 
um, practicing poses, um, getting myself out there and positioning myself in a way that more uh, more brands would want to work with me. So yes, it's very essential for me to like be that person because I mean, if I was not that somebody, the person can sh um, shield some of the responsibilities, but me right now, I have to shield the whole responsibility. So yes, it's essential getting getting early to shoot and be respectful to clients when you're on set you act professional you're not trying to be rude or saucy whatever no 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 you're coming with 100 your energy has to be 100 you come on time you um yeah basically that's it and then what else yeah basically yeah that's good and you know um I, I, I like what you said there you know you really went into detail in terms of everything that you do your thought process talk to us about that talk to us about planning imagination creativity you know mm -hmm. you, you you touched on it there which i thought was really interesting and i think that is golden i think there's so much that we can learn from that um you know do you um do you, do you give time for yourself to imagine uh, picture where you want to be, what you want to do, how you're going to do a certain pose, uh, and then how do you, you know, do you, how do you make it a reality? And talk to us about when you look okay. back and say, um, ah, "Okay, well, okay, um, well, I, um, I learned or I got knowledge about this new technique called visualization this year." but i don't i don't know what is what is the problem i i just haven't really been able to visualize it like in actual vivid like vividly but but i i can still feel and like in my head i can see a picture of like what i want to do the things i want to eat. like it has never ever it has never really been able to come together as one perfect picture but i know that i've always seen where i want to be what i want to do where i want to go like most times before i go to bed in fact what am i saying before i go to bed sometimes two or three weeks before i already like planned what and what i want to do who i want to work with the designer i want to speak with all these things I, like i already planned them in my head so like i i can see them but even though it might not be the exact picture of what it will look like but i have a picture of um what I plan on doing, who I plan on working with. Um, like for instance, I have a, a couple of um, collaborative shoots I'm planning and I've already started to picture who I'm working with, how I want to look for the certain shoots, like how I want things to go. Yes, yeah, so it's an amazing process. Um, music helps me. I, I love to listen to music a lot. I like Whiskey, so um, I listen to his songs and then I'm able to get myself in a in a state of mind where I can create. And then I also have a journal, it's here with me. Um, I write down the things I think about and the things I want to work on so I do not forget. And, uh, and so I can go back and think about them over and over, yes. So thinking about what you want to do beforehand and trying to see yourself. I feel like um, we all say we have dreams, but we, we never really see ourselves like, achieving those things like we never really we always just say we want to be this we, we but we 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 never really can see ourselves being that person or we, we don't like it's even almost impossible like for us to feel how it should feel to be a millionaire if we do not see the millions in our accounts but the truth is that for you to really be that person you you have to start to see yourself as as that person um, the journey I'm on right now, when I look at people who are successful, when I look at people like Rihanna, when I look at people like Jay-Z and Kanye West, I feel like at some point in their life, they did not have those millions in their accounts, but they just started to feel like, oh, I am this person, I am that person. They started to feel like they are the person that they dream about. They started to see themselves as that person. That is the only way you can start to talk and behave like you're that person. If you do not start to feel like, oh, I'm a supermodel. You're not going to be a supermodel. I mean, even when you become a supermodel, you're not going to be acting like, you're going to be acting lesser than this because you don't feel like you deserve it or that you can be that person. So I feel like the first step is you have to visualize and then you have to start to see yourself as the person you dream of being. Yeah, so I'm, I'm also working on it and I hope we all can 
try it as well because all our dreams are possible. There's nothing that's impossible. We just we just don't believe. That's the truth. That's incredible. That's very thought provoking. Um, you know, I love the fact that you know the visualization is so important to you, creating the atmosphere, being in an environment that's conducive to growth, where you feel good about yourself. And then, of course, just seeing yourself with that end goal. Talk to me about this philosophy. Where did this come from? You know, uh, it's incredible. Uh, there's so much you can achieve with it. And this is something that I truly believe in. Yes. Um, well, I've been reading a lot of books. Um, I can't even remember the name, the author of the book. I will have to check somewhere. But I've been reading a lot of books. I've been reading a lot of articles because I've been on a journey of self-growth and self-discovery. Um, ever since I was younger, I knew that I wanted to do great things in myself, but I, I didn't really know how to get everything together. But ever since I got on that journey, ever since I started, I started, and I, I don't know, I feel blessed because the first book I read this year changed my life. I need to remember the name of the book. Success Principles. Yes, that was the name of the book. Success Principles. It's so hilarious. It's so funny that that was the first book that I read. It wasn't a romantic novel. It was Success Principles because, and then I feel like how, you know how they always say that you are on the right path and that God puts you where you are for a reason. It's always like it's a joke, but it's not a joke. It's, it's reality because like I said, why was Success Principles the first book that I ever read? I could have read something else, but God knew that at this time in my life, I should be preparing myself to become who I dream of becoming. So I read about Success Principles. And then the next book I read, Becoming a Better Me. So all these things, they were just in, in they were just in position to get me ready to become who I dream of becoming. So yes, um, I started reading a lot of books, I started reading a lot of articles, and then a lot of the people that were my mentors, a lot of people that I looked up to, I saw that visualization was a part of their process. So they would see themselves becoming, Oprah always saw herself as who she was. And a lot of other people who I look up to, they've always seen themselves as being who they are now. So I decided to, let me just take it on and see how it would feel like if I start to just think that, okay, I'm the supermodel, I feel I'm going to be, how will she talk? How will she act? How will she dress? And then you see your life getting better. You start behaving better. You start talking better. So, yes. Incredible. Absolutely incredible stuff. You know, um, when I think about, you know, you're very young, but you've, you know, you're, you've got wisdom beyond your years. Um, and, you know, I, I can only see success for you in the future, you know, with that sort of uh, philosophy Thank and you. thinking. Um, so, you know, talk to us about the changes you've seen in your own life as a result of applying these, these principles. Um, I've seen, I've seen so much change. Like in the past six months, my life has taken a total turn. Like the way I think is different. I'm, I'm more positive and I'm more um, willing to try before I was always very scared to fail because I mean, who wants to fail? Nobody normally would want to fail. But like now I'm more willing to put myself out there. Like what if I actually get it? What if it actually happens? Let me just give it a try. And then in terms of my modeling, like I've seen like so much growth, like in the way I pose, the way I re relate with my clients, the way I'm confident on sets. Yes, you have to be very confident on sets. So you, your clients, you look, you show your clients that you know what you're doing. You can't come to set and be um, acting like you don't know what you're doing. Like this is your first time. <laughs> yes, like even the last shoot I had, the clients were so excited. They, they said that they want to book me for their next shoot. That is to show you how more how confident I was and how much energy I was able to put in because I started to learn how to believe in myself. I started to learn how to be positive. I started to learn how to find my own happiness from within myself, not from um, what the client is doing or how the photographer is acting. And then I also learned that um, when things don't go right, there's a lesson in it. So you have to learn the lesson. And then for you to learn the lesson, you have to be grounded in your thinking. You cannot be angry 
or sad for you to like see, okay, what am I supposed to learn in this situation? You, your mindset, you have to be grounded. You have to like be calm and say, okay, I could have done this better. But if you're still holding on to being defensive and all this negative energy, you cannot really see what is in front of you. So I've learned, like my life has changed totally. I, I'm, I'm working on relating with people differently, my family members, my friends, the way I think, everything about me has said to change. I even glow differently. I look differently. Everything about my life has totally changed. So um, yes, just generally having a positive mindset and be willing to let yourself fail, be willing to let yourself see life differently, not the way you're, you were used to. It's, it will take a total, a total, total, total change in your life. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. Brilliant stuff. Uh, I'm loving this. And, you know, it's, again, you know, finding the good in every situation, even the bad yeah. things that happen, you know, find the good in that. Um, you know, I think there's so much that we can learn and take from that. So um, the future is bright. The future is busy. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, great things, great things, great things. Um, bigger campaign ads. I'm, I'm working on getting um, some campaign jobs, some international campaign jobs. I'm, I feel like I'm ready for the international market. I'm not just, I'm meant to shine. I'm not just meant to be for Nigeria or Africa. The whole world has to see how beautiful I am and how much I have to offer. So yes, bigger projects. I'm going to get into acting on the long run, but for now I'm focused on my modeling, building my brand, um, getting myself out there. And I'm also working on getting um, a modeling agency or getting signed in a modeling agency in the UK as well. So yes, bigger things, bigger things. I'm ready for it. Incredible. I'm ready. Um, how can the audience connect with you? Um, um, my social media, my Instagram. I think I should share my details. I don't know how can we make that possible, but my Instagram. We'll, we'll put your my, details in the your information in the links below. Oh, okay. So your my in Twitter, my Instagram, and Snapchat. Yeah, we'll put all that in below. Uh, but what's your Instagram handle? Okay. Oh, it's Karinate, Karinate, Karinate. Okay. Oh, well, I, I didn't mention my name is Go. Okay, yes, I did. Goldie Karinate. <laughs> That's my name. We'll put it. We'll put it all in the information <laughs> below. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's been an absolute. Was a nice. It was a nice chat with you, Amos. Thank you. Thank you, and we wish you all the best in what you do. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. If you want some amazing inspiration, check out the videos next to me and I'll see you right there.